Star Media Control Room here at UStreamRadio.com. Yours truly, Don McKay, in here with the lovely... Miss Sweet Tea. All right. His, his and hers TV. Of course, I'm the, I'm the his. And I'm the her. Well, obviously. And I'm always right, because I'm the her. <laughs> and obviously. we have a... Absolutely. ...very special guest, the very lovely, the very talented Miss Shadina. Hello. How are you doing? I'm good. I should be tired, but I'm you, Yes, here. you should be tired. I have been trying to catch up with this lady for... For a minute. Now. Yeah, forever. Just... Wow. Yes, yeah, for a while, but because she, she stays busy, she stays busy, and um, uh, I'm very glad to be able to sit down and talk with her. Uh, before we go any further, though, Sweet Tea, uh, she also won um, the BMA 2012 Army Artist of the Year. She's working hard. She's working hard. Oh, thank you. Um, that means you got all the nominations. You had a good um, fan base. Yeah. So that's how? how it works. Yeah, that's oh, absolutely okay. how it works. So uh, thank you. So, <laughs> So you, how, how did you get involved in music? Because of my mother. My mother is a singer, and um, she'd been doing it before I was born. And she was signed to Warner Brothers. She was managed by Teddy Riley and Jane Griffin. But prior to that, she worked with like Whitney and Rick James and Bobby Brown and Lisa Vandross. And she did like Jimmy Cliff. I know I'm, I'm forgetting a bunch of people. And just being around her and going to the studio with her and going to some of her shows and things like that, I always just knew I wanted to do it. Yeah, she, your mother's very talented. She looks like your sister. Oh, thank okay. you. She, she's, you know. I'm hoping I keep that going on. <laughs> Absolutely. So, when you when you got started, I guess early on, mm -hmm. did she try to discourage you, or or was she, you know, did she say no? This is not where you want to go, or? Well, no. Actually, um, when I was like in middle school, transitioning to high school, I had an offer to sign with Hollywood Records, the Disney, and she did stop that. She just said she wanted me to be um, enjoy my childhood and just go to school and things like that. But other than that, she's very supportive. It's actually just um, she and I be out there. You probably you see us together all the time. Yeah. And we out there grinding. She actually pushes sometimes I think more than me. Harder. She's out there working and she gets she makes things happen. So people always say, How are you getting all these shows? I said my mother. I mean my talent, but she's out there pushing it and sending out the video footage and calling promoters and you know talking and gotta go through the, all the shenanigans of hearing what they say yada 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 but she's the, the driving force behind it definitely shout that that's important shout out definitely shout out to your mother yeah shout um out. a hey, lot mom. of people don't don't have that um now is she your momager i'll say she's my partner okay. because nothing goes down without my say Okay. So it's not like she can say whatever, but if I don't want to do it, I'm not. It's not going down like that. We call our company like mother, like daughter. Okay. So it's basically, you know, talking to her, like talking to me, and vice versa. So it's nothing like um, we make decisions together. And sometimes I, I can say I make most of the decisions. So it's not like Brandy and Ray J mother. No, you know, she makes all the. Made no, all the she. Decisions. No, we do it together. Oh, okay. we, we really she, do. She's the one who told me to do the sex tape. I think she was holding the camera. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> nice. I'm sorry, we got it. Well, it built up Kim's career. Ray J. Exactly. Did it help Ray J? No. Did it help Ray J? No. Would you, would, you, would you do Ray J? Yes, definitely. Ask me what I would do, Kim. I think would, we know. Would you do Kim? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Don't we on the same boat? His and hers. <laughs> Talk about the your early music. How you know when did you realize that you could sing? Um, I think when I was in the second grade, I was put into a um, talent show contest, and I won the competition, the overall win of all the categories. And I think from then that point up, my mother used to make me sing, and she would teach me harmonies like in the kindergarten, and I would be pissed because she would be yelling like, "Stay on your note." I didn't know what 
I'm just singing and she's trying to blend with me. So I really didn't, I wasn't really into it then, but when I won the contest, I think it really made me say, you know what, I want to do this. And from that point on, I just started singing. Then I, I kind of swayed away from it and started dancing more with dance groups, but I always wanted to sing. And it just always been, that's all I know, that's all I do. And you can, you can see that, so definitely you can see the dancing that you do, uh, and that's a big part of, of your shows. Mm -hmm. um, so you, who comes up with the choreography? Um, I have a choreographer um, who goes by the name of Champ, but he's in Atlanta right now. But he choreographed a lot, so right now it's just me and my other dancers. We come together and put it together and stuff like that. But the whole concept of the whole show is my idea, and I bring it to rehearsal and, you know, we go from there. T, you got something to say? Do you, when do you rehearse? Are you a mom or? Yes, I have two kids actually. I have um, my son, I had him at 17. Um, big up to all the team mothers. I'm not promoting it, but right, you I know. Have my daughter young too. Yeah, so um, I have a son and I just had another one. He just turned a year old. And um, same baby daddy. <laughs> let, me, let me say that. Same father. <laughs> and he is the father. Let me say that. <laughs> But yeah, when I rehearse, we, um, during the summertime, honestly, we rehearse just about every day. It depends on the event of the show. If I have like a big event, like I, I just came back from Denver, opening up for Nas and Lauryn Hill, for something to that level, then we rehearse a lot. If it's something that, I don't want, no show is big or small, right, but there's some things saying. require a lot more attention, right. so we rehearse like six to eight hours but if it's something that I feel like we got it and it's, it doesn't require a lot then we might go for like you know three hours we might practice like twice that week it depends on the event but if it's something big then we go hard yeah. and, and, and it shows so she you work a lot of you work a couple covers sometimes and mm -hmm. then you work in your original music she gets the crowd going um, I, I really, I'm a fan of of your live performances, and, I, and I've seen a lot. Um, really, I liked your performance on uh, 106 and Park. Mm -hmm. She 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 got it in. She got it in on there. Who uh, who comes comes up with the concept for the videos? Um, we all do. I take any suggestions from anybody. You know, I ask my dancers, "What do y'all think?" Because I always want them to feel like it's not just the Shadena show that. I want everybody to feel like what you put into this is just as important. So I always ask everybody their opinion. I might not take it or like like it, but I ask people, what do you think or how do you think we should do this or what's your idea? Because you know, we're all a part of it. I want everybody to feel like they are giving into the situation. So she's like, I'll listen. I'm not going to do it. Do it. <laughs> no, sometimes it might be a little wet. I'm like, eh, no. Nah, I don't yeah. like that. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, it, but it's an open, it's an it open, open. Uh, thing. Um, what, what is your feelings on the internet? How, do you think that the internet has helped or hurt uh, music? The internet has helped me because it helps me to, uh, like the show I did in Denver. I wouldn't have knew those promoters if it was for the internet. They reached out to me because of that. A lot, basically, a lot of things I did. Uh, Madison Square Garden is because of the internet. So I just feel like people need to, in my opinion, um, work it, work it. That's what it's there for. You know, I was just on the phone coming down here, and they was talking to me. Yup, yup. Social network and media is up. You know, you do this, that, third. You do really good. I said because I'm using it as a commercial. You, we can sit there and watch football, and they're going to show that Pepsi and Coke commercial every time the Ravens go off. So if I'm on here, to me, I don't have time to sit there and tell you, I'm just eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. No, you need to know about what I'm here what I'm here for. And if you don't like it, then don't follow me. But that's what I'm here for, to promote. So it helps, True. and it benefits me because my sales on my music shot up. You know, I get shows that now I'm at the point where I'm getting paid to do shows. So I'm not on there just to be, I mean, you know, to talk. I, I, I do talk, but my main objective is is to get my music out there and promote. Because that's, for me, the internet is my radio. Because I'm not on mainstream radio, personally in this area. So I use it. So I think people need to take heed to that and not talk a bunch of nonsense or Twitter beefs and that's ridiculous. <laughs> what What is your motivation? What keeps you going hard, keep grinding? Um, cause I, 
really feel like God gave me this talent to use it. So I just, um, that's my motivation. And I only want to say my kids because I was doing this before them. And you know, people are like, I didn't even know you had a baby. You had a baby? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I just had him. I had my son in April and May I was on stage. So it's just like, you know, this is what I love to do. And my motivation, I just feel like it's my talent. And I, God gave me this to do something with it. And I can't do anything else. I, I don't cook. I can't do hair. I'm not like that girly girl type of person. So I said, this is what he put me here for. And I'm going to take advantage of it. That's my motivation. Absolutely. Let's take a look at Shadina on the stage and come back and talk to her a little bit more. Mm -hmm. 